And I'm so grateful that you know you guys have kind of been here with me on my journey that I think started about like two and a half years ago when I was in sixth grade. Um, I had to write this speech for school. You know, our our teacher signed it, and every single person in the class could write this persuasive speech about literally anything in the world. You know, I know some people who wrote about like why basketball is better than soccer. I know some people wrote it about like the state of our financial situation of the entire world right now. It was really interesting. For me, I had just gotten a dog and I had grown up loving animals. I was actually raised vegetarian. So I was like, you know what? Animal welfare, here we go. And I decided to write my speech on why testing on animals is unethical. To be honest, I really knew nothing about this topic before, but you know, as I was typing up these paragraphs, I got to the second to last one, which is dedicated solely to alternatives. It was talking about, you know, well, testing on animals, it's this outdated concept because there are so many other alternatives in our world right now, like the in vitro method of testing on cell cultures grown in labs instead of human beings and animals. Crazy, I know. <laughs> I thought this was really, really interesting. You know, I didn't really know much about bio at that time. Um, I think I was like 10 and we never really learned of it. <laughs> um, but, you know, I searched it up, thought it was pretty interesting. And as I typed in, literally on Google, in vitro method, something else came up and I was really surprised by it. I was really curious about it. Um, it basically said in vitro meat. And I was like, what? That makes no sense. I really didn't understand it. And so, you know, I naturally went on this massive rabbit hole. I read papers and articles and, oh, I watched all of these videos, saw all the headlines. And I actually stumbled upon CAS and this is like what sparked my love with everything. Um, one of the projects here at CAS called Project CMF or Project Cell-Based Meat Facility. Oh my God, it is magnificent, it's so glorious. Um, I remember I was like seeing all these images of um, these cells in Petri dishes and I didn't understand it. You know, it didn't really seem appetizing to me, um, especially because like I'd grown up vegetarian, I never really thought of it much. But then Project CMF was this magnificent and like so um, wondrous almost um, of a building. And it was like this literal facility of cultivated meat. It was so incredible to me. And as I literally read the entire part of that website like 20 times, I actually started learning more about our traditional animal agriculture systems right now. You know, even though I was vegetarian, I still had this idyllic picture in my mind. You know, I was imagining these picturesque farms where animals can roam around free as can be. You know, I never really understood that the, it's, the reality is so far from that dreamy notion I once had in mind. You know, these animals are confined in inhumane and unhygienic conditions, it's really quite horrifying to actually see. And I know a lot of you guys have like dedicated your entire life to working towards this issue. It's so, so incredible. But as I was, you know, doing this research, I actually realized like meat is a lot more in our world. You know, it's more it's more than just this meal on our plates. It's a part of culture, traditions, family. You know, it's not something that we can practically take away, but at the same time, we can't really continue to source it the way we are. Because this meat is actually not good for us. It's really bad for the people. This meat is more than just protein. Instead, there are antibiotics, bacteria, so much added sodium and you know, carbohydrates. It's more than what you know, we perceive it to be. It's, of course, horrible for the environment. And, oh my god, it's so bad for the environment. We are using so many land resources. Um, yeah, so much land, so much resources. And we're actually producing insane amounts, insane amounts of greenhouse gas emissions in the process which is one of the leading causes of climate change. As we can see, it's really, really breaking down our world. And it is horrible for the animals because like I said, they are literally these lambs raised for slaughter and throughout their entire life, they are not being treated with any care, any decency. So right, here's the baseline. Meat is horrible for our current meat systems. Our current agriculture systems are horrible for the people, the animals, and the world, right? But what can you do now? Well, the good news is we're not living in the olden days anymore. We are living in a modern world with modern advancements, modern technology, modern concepts. And one of those concepts is cultivated meat, or in vitro meat as I knew it back then. Cultivated meat is real, true, genuine meat that comes from cells instead of from an animal through slaughter. It was such an insane concept to me and Project CMF like really pushed it down and solidified it. Like this is the future of our world, you know? Cultivated meat is created by taking this harmless biopsy from an animal taking that cell, putting it into a bioreactor where it's fed the nutrients to grow and multiply into muscle tissue, which is the basis of meat as we know it. It's so, so interesting and so cool because cultivated meat is gonna allow us to 
continue to have the same flavors, the same tastes, same memories and traditions that we've cherished for generations, but without the guilt of harming ourselves and our world and the people around us. You know, that's the world I envision, and it starts with cultivating me. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.